Ian Vito and Liz are coming at you with a something special today. Uh, so I guess teenager slams we're... school board for pun for pushing critical race theory. We'll see how long this stays on YouTube. Yeah. <laughs> we'll, we'll see how long this stays up. CRT um... is people like to say is not a real thing. They say it's not actually happening. It is. It is happening. This is the proof. That it is happening. It might not be happening in every school, but it is happening in a lot of schools. Do, do you, you know your Chris critical race theory is in? I think I have like a baseline idea, but like what what, what is your baseline idea of it? I mean, mate. Okay, the way I'm comprehending. Correct me if I'm wrong. The way I'm comprehending it is. And it's probably not being promoted this way in society. But I think maybe the original intent of it was probably to try to address um, racial um, misunderstandings within society. That, that might have been the intention. That's not what they're doing. Okay. So that might have to, it's like the Black Lives Matter thing. Yeah. Good it's intentions. Good intentions. And bad execution. Terrible execution. Okay. They're, okay. Ma they're, they're causing more division in schools than ever before. They're forcing kids to look at each other based off of their race, not based off of people. It's not equality. Okay. See what I'm saying? When you're starting to force kids to look at somebody's race first, not the person, they got a problem. Mm -hmm. I mean, to me, any fool who comes up and come up in a room and say, oh, I don't see color. Shut up. Yeah. <laughs> Just... Don't even start off your saying. Clearly, you're, everybody sees color. That's what I'm saying. There's color in everything that you see. Don't, if, yeah. if you're coming to the conversation, oh, I don't see color, you, you're not helping, you're supporting. But the people. problem is, you shouldn't be treating each person different based off of the color that exactly. they are. Exactly. Exactly. And critical race theory says you should be treating people differently based off of their color. I don't agree with that. Thank I don't you. agree. With, I mean, you can treat someone based off like, their behaviors or their content of what their character of what they do. Exactly. That you can do, but like... If somebody comes across and is being a dick, treat him accordingly. Yeah. Mm -hmm. If somebody is coming across being a genuine nice person, why would you be an asshole to them? That's like me. Like, when it comes to like, I don't care if you're black, white, gay, straight, male, female. If, you, if you're a piece of shit, I'm going to say you act like exactly. a piece of shit right now. Like, I don't care. Yeah. You can um, be a straight person, and you or you can be gay. That's you're, what, yeah. If you're acting like an you're ass, being, you're I'm, a dick. I'm, I'm, I'm not gonna. People are worrying about what's the outside. They're worrying about what's the content. Yeah, yeah. yeah. See, like you know, so... what matters in a man's heart or a woman's heart mm -hmm. is more important than what they have on the outside. That's what exactly. I'm saying. Like, if you're acting like an ass, I don't care who you. I'm gonna say you're you're acting like an ass right now. Exactly. So. Now, but, there's uh, another video after this I got to show you that maybe we'll be able to show on YouTube. Maybe we'll show you guys. Maybe. maybe. We'll see. Who knows, man. We'll see on that one. That, that one, this one, that one's going to blow your mind. But, but uh, Vito, let's get, this Vito, is a former student from a high school okay. who is talking to know, a school board. this is in? I, 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 mean, I can't remember this. I'm pretty sure I can't. I think he says it. But this is in America. America. Yes. Okay. This, this is, is in America. America. Okay. Yes. This is a five minutes. This is a decently long speech from this kid, but this kid lays into the school board. Okay. And I think you'll understand why as it goes through, because he makes his points very clear. Yeah. Okay. And without okay. explaining more, I'm going to let the kid do the talk. Now, I... I oh, yeah. Just, this, I, is a, this is a video taken from Officer Tatum, so we're going to bounce so a little bit. So, Vito... Vito and Liz, you've seen this? Yes, we, I have seen I this. saw yes. this advertised. I have not watched it, though, yet. I saw, now, we're, I saw we're taking this from Officer Tatum, so we're going to have his commentary with it okay. as well. Uh, he's going to be a little bi more, way more biased towards a conservative take on it. Okay. Just, just... The video that we're and using. if you gotta understand, if you gotta understand me, you can call me the black liberal. I don't give a shit. That, that's a personal problem, that y'all. They usually call me conservative. <laughs> yeah, and yeah. So if, they're if, probably if, still trying to figure just her out. Just because I'm black, if you think I'm a liberal, if, if that's the way you gotta understand me. Uh, that's your own personal. Honestly, we look at ourselves as free thinking Americans. Yeah. Yeah. If, if I'm you, not a white American, I'm an American. He's not a black American. He's an American. Like, She's not a Puerto Rican American. She's an American. Like I don't know what a, like. I don't see the point of the term liberal and conservative. No, no. I don't see what the point of that. No, no. I, I do not. There is no, si no. There is only one uniparty anyway. You, there is either people who love the country or people who hate the country. That that's all yeah. I, I just see it like I see you either we, love the country or you hate the, the country. country. That's what we I'm saying. We love the country. We love the country. Do we have to fix some we things? Yes. Oh yes. <laughs> some country. things need to be addressed. Is but, the country no. perfect? No, no, it's not. We no, don't no, live no, in a no, utopia. No. 
Anybody who thinks, like, honestly, and, uh, we're not a utopia. And unfortunately, America's the closest thing to a utopia there will ever be. It's better than a lot of other places in the world. We're, we're, no, nothing's perfect in uh, life. Uh, well, right now, it might, uh, with the, way, the way things are going to major cities, don't go anywhere near any major cities right now. I feel bad for people. If you live in Chicago... I'm sorry. Oh, I've, oh I found out uh, Chicago's not the murder capital anymore. What Supposedly, it's New Orleans now. <gasps> New Orleans um, beat it. Uh, wait till wait till next January when they uh, so, start letting people go. I, don't quote me on that. That was just something I I, I that's, that's something like I saw in a little piece on the news. But supposedly, like what will happen? it looks like a competition between New Orleans and Chicago. No, that, right that's, now. that's that's not one you want to win, though. No, no, that's not that's, something that's, to glamorize. You know what I'm saying? But let's let's reel this back in. Yeah, to, let's, let's talking about the school board. Right, this is talking this, to school. This, this young I can't man, remember man. the exact school, but you'll tell us. So when I questioned why the equity statement couldn't represent this is a all quick students, verbiage. It's gonna go they told me that Tatum didn't ask that video. question. So it's him, then Tatum. Yeah, this is just that. a quick snippet of him talking about it. Then Tatum's gonna talk about the video, and then it'll go. And then he's gonna play the entire video. Okay, go. Cool. Questioned why the equity statement couldn't represent all students, they told me that to even ask that question was outlandish and offensive. And they wait, are, wait, what question is that? Right, right. right. No, no, he'll get to it. Just let this part go through. Uh, so when I questioned we'll why the equity statement could represent all students, this is just a snippet to explain the video. They told me that to even ask that question was okay. outlandish and offensive. And okay, we're still recording. They, uh, when I asked yeah, why that sure, was, yeah. they told me, "quote Whites have a pretty good situation right now." Unquote. That's insane to tell a kid. So is that not yeah. racism? We'll get to that. Disregarding my question merely because of the color of my skin. To be honest, after enduring a year of the people in charge telling me that I'm a racist and I'm privileged and pointing out our irreversible differences, I've never noticed race more. This boy is my hero. That's all I see. That's just a quick snippet. There's no reason to stop it there. We're going to get to the whole thing. This video is brought to you by Manscaped.com. Manscaped.com, ladies and gentlemen, I I'm so excited to be partnering with Manscaped to sponsor this video. It's been years, y'all. I've been using Manscaped products for years. Not only just me, my wife well, literally I'm steals really gonna leave my Manscaped, Manscaped products from me all because... the time. We've been using them for over two years. <laughs> Manscaped, so you guys, you guys, sponsor us. Manscaped, <laughs> performance package 4.0. It's got the brand new 4.0 trimmer. For those of you who have used We'd the make a real fun commercial. That would be hilarious, bro. We would everything. make one yeah, hell of a commercial, man. shave everything. <laughs> and if you ain't that type of man, then so be it. You be you. Be a caveman if you want to. But if you like to shave everything, it got it for you. Uh, they have technology to help you not Your balls will thank you. cut yourself. <laughs> Jesus you Christ. Like also, in the package, they have deodorant. They have deodorant for your armpits and then everywhere else. They have, uh, uh, they got lotions in there, uh, body wash in there. What the hell? Is there like ball deodorant? Yeah, pretty much, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Damn! Yeah, it actually is. Where the hell? I, I didn't even know that was a thing. Bag what the that you hell? Can use in order to hold all your stuff in when you travel, I I, I cannot say it enough. The products made for men just makes me happy. You go to the store, it's for everybody else, but men don't have a line of products that actually perform well. And I think he means it's for women, <laughs> because a lot of products is out there that has to do with hair and stuff like that. It's like it's, women, yeah. but now they ha actually have products that men could use. Mm -hmm. That comes with you know products like for beer. Nah, and... but he's specifically talking about stuff for our areas. Yes. Yeah, which, which yes. is good to have. You know, yeah. you know, yeah. it's good, keep good, it, good, like, good to keep yeah. it clean down there. Most know? of the time, there's never been a line of uh, deodorant for balls. Yeah, that yeah. For under balls. You got so coochie products. You don't got no ball products. No, 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 no. And that are a lot of coochie products. For men. Now, the beauty about Manscaped is that women can use it, too. Put in my discount code Tatum when you go to manscaped.com <laughs> and you'll get 20% off. We're taking it over. Some girls shipping. prefer to use men's men stuff. Yes, they do. Like, I, I'd rather use men's stuff. Free shipping. Uh, like and subscribe to the channel. Hit the bell so you get notifications yeah, anytime I go live and make a video. Make sure you still subscribe to the channel. <laughs> like this video. Comment on this video. Share this video. Let's get into this. Ladies and gentlemen, the link's in the description section. The reason I'm dressed up like this, I just came off Laura Ingram uh, uh, trying to do my thing for the American people. But I had to mention this video. This young man being bold, brave, courageous, and speaking up for truth against a school board. It, 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 they always say, and I make these videos all the time, they, they, they continue to say, no, nah, man, you're just making this up, man. They're not doing this at the school, man. They don't see T. CRT ain't even bad for you. You know what I'm saying? They just teach you true history. Well, let me show you the effects and what young people are actually experiencing. Because they have the people that look like me be the victim <laughs> and the ones 
who <laughs> look like this young man are the victimizers. <laughs> mm -hmm. And that's not, it's unacceptable. See, we should not be doing this in the school. That's exactly what they're doing in schools right now. They're pretty much telling kids that all the white kids have it easy and they're victimizing all the minority kids. So, just, now, but just, so, so pretty much we're going to pay attention to that race and not the white race kind of thing. You know, we got to leave them out. You guys deserve, you know. We got to cool them back and keep them down. Yeah. Otherwise, you have no shot at getting ahead. Yeah, exactly. Uh, it's it's just it's wrong. Guy, keep going. Well, let, let, let you guys understand. Let, let, you know, I do think it's a, like it's. I, I would say like kids should be like aware of ethnicity, but damn, stop dividing them. Like, because remember, kids are taught to be racist. That's They're, what I'm saying. Kids right? aren't racist. You know, kids are taught to be racist, dude. You don't. Mm -hmm. Listen, and this is teaching kids to be racist. No one pops out the womb as a member of the KKK. No. Okay, no, <laughs> you know, like you on. just no one pops out the womb like no. that. No, that, that, that's not how it works. It's, you're taught it, and that black people are taught it too. Yep. School. Listen to what the boy had to say. This is a pretty long video, but I think it's all valuable in the context. And I applaud this young man. And if anybody can find out who he is, get him my contact information. I want to talk to him. I want to have him on my show. Roll the clip. It's Brad Taylor, and I just finished my freshman year at RHS. Um, I've been a part of District 196 schools now for 10 years, and I'm going to give you a glimpse today of what's actually going on inside these schools. Actually going on. Um, despite the board's attempt to deny it, District 196 schools are quickly becoming a place where promoting activism is actually more important than promoting education. I'll take you, I'll take you back to my first day at RHS this fall. The principal came out and gave us a heartfelt speech about equality and standing together. Um, he began to list countless races, such as Latino, Asian, expressing how much they matter and how important they are. But never once did he mention a race or identity that reflects me, or half the kids that were in the class. Now, members of the board, I know you haven't been to school in a while, and I know most of the people, I know none of you, or most of you, don't have any kids left in the school district. Um, but you must admit how uncomfortable it will be to be characterized just by your skin color on the first day of school. And be thought that you were wrong just because of your uh, skin color. You hear what he said? Very first day, the principal's characterizing mm -hmm. all the kids based off their skin color. Talking about how great and how respected all these other races are while not while making half the class feel like they're oh, worthless. Oh man. Yeah, that's the I'm gonna let the kid continue. I'm gonna I'm gonna let him continue. Play. So I'll never forget the look one of my friends gave me from across the room as we were sitting there listening to this blatant bias being expressed in the so-called equity statement by the leader of our school. It's more smart. To be clear, I don't need you to tell me that I matter, but hearing the condolences given to other races and leaving just one race out, it inevitably you'll start to feel like you've done something wrong. And in our principal's attempt okay. to unify us, okay. he instead created unwarranted... Okay. Mm -hmm. I, I know he, he. I knew he was going to clarify that, so you would understand what he was saying. Because I figured you were waiting for him to say something like that—that that he didn't need to be justified. Why would you? Why do you need to be justified? I. I. Okay. I see what the kid's saying. Mm -hmm. And this is the principal who said this. The principal said yeah. this on their first day, their very first day. This is what the principal. Wonder, is this a private school or a public? No, it was school? a public school. You'll see at the end because he le he's going to end up leaving this school to go to a private school. Printed boundaries and barriers between his students, pitting us against each other based on characteristics that we can't control. In another separate instance, I was told that writing all lives matter on the whiteboard was political and could be seen as offensive. When I questioned the teacher after class, she told me that she didn't have an answer and she just had to erase it and it was quickly erased. There are political signs all over RHS specific, about specific races that matter, specific sexual orientations that matter, and specific perspectives that matter. See, but when I see that right there is where schools should be like, all lives matter should be everywhere, not specific mm -hmm. races matter. At the school specifically, especially where you want to welcome in every student, not just certain students. And the teacher, she, she didn't... Um give him a response of the reason why right is that what yeah. he said and that's because she don't want to lose her job 
And you can't blame the teacher for no, that. You can't blame you the can't teacher blame for that. You can't blame the teacher for that. But it's the school system. But she knows it's wrong. Showing kids that you're pretty much telling them all lives don't matter. See, that's, only certain lives matter. This, see, this is what you're telling. This kids. is what I don't think a lot of people understand. That teacher was put in the same position as some police officers. Yep. For when, when people say, "Oh, we got to get rid of the bad cops," trust me, all the good cops know who the who the who which fucker should be on the force. Oh yeah, they know it. But it's like if you're if say you're a police officer or you're a well, or, they might not specifically know, but they have a damn good. They, idea. they have an idea. Have if an you're idea. a brand new officer on the force or you're a brand new teacher. If you say anything, you're gone. your job's gone. Okay. Unless you have some kind of tent, your job's gone. I understand that, but what's more important at the end of the day? That's, your no, job or the safety of it's, the kids? It's fair. And the well-being of the children. But I, I get why some people don't want to say that because it's like, well, this job helps me provide for my family at home. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So I, I get it. I get the way of it. It's hard, but it's like I get what also Vito, Vito's saying. But some, that, that, that's the hard part where you have to walk. Exactly. It is. It's a hard decision to make. But sometimes you got to make the hard decision to stand up and do what's right. That's true. That's true. Getting along. That's true. I, I that's fair. Especially when you see transgressions and what and if you just keep on going along, you're doing more harm. Yeah, I, I see. I see. I see, what you, mean, and, and I see mind, what you mean. And their mind, and their mind is thinking that um, providing for their family is more important than that. You know, in their mind, I can, I, I, until I, they yeah. realize later on that that, I mean, that is important. But come on, you got to stand up for what's right. Because at the end of the day, you got a teaching certificate. You got you got that job. You can be able to go get another teacher. Yeah, yeah. you you can go get another. Yeah, you, you see what I mean with yeah. that? Yeah, I see what you mean. Standing up and doing. Yes, it might set you back in the right there, and, and it's so hard sometimes to do that. Don't don't. I'm not. Don't get me wrong. I know it's a lot easier said to stand up and oh yeah, be right. It's a lot harder to be righteous. Yeah, to do, it, yeah. To do the right thing. Yeah, than it, it is. It, yeah, yeah. But if you actually understand and realize, I got hired once. Even if it's not in this state. There'll be someone that will respect what I can do. These people obviously don't. But yeah, I, I see what you mean by that. Yeah, I want to go help and protect kids, not harm them mentally and physically. I see, yeah, I, I I can understand that. I can understand that. Questioned the RHS administration about how these signs were political. They told me that they were supporting human rights. So when I questioned why the equity statement couldn't represent all students. They told me that to even ask that question was outlandish and offensive. That's that's what and you were talking about. Damn, I, Damn, I forgot about the that. fact that he even asked why all everybody can't be is offensive. I hope, like, don't get me wrong, I'm not for generalizing, but you got to understand. Anybody you got to understand, when you use the term human rights. Mm -hmm. It's an automatic blanket over everybody. Exactly. <laughs> it's, you you can't pick and choose which people. Have rights. Have right. You can't. It's yeah. human rights. That that's every. You can't thing. pick and choose who goes into that. But that's what they're doing. Yeah, which, which yeah, it's it's no human imagine, right. It should be everyone in so everyone in the school is a human, aren't they? Human rights. Asked why that was, they told me, "quote Whites have a pretty good situation right now." Unquote. <laughs> When he asked them why that was offensive, that's what they told him. Oh, it's more. It's it's more. I I want to interject and say something, but it is more. Can you that's imagine crazy. somebody saying that to your child after all we've been through? Okay. So is that not racism? <laughs> Disregarding my question no. merely because of the color of my skin. Right. To be honest, after enduring a year. Is that not racism? If you dis guys, it doesn't matter if someone is gold. <laughs> okay. <laughs> like if you treat them a different way. Because of the skin color, last time I t last time I checked, that's in like the Webster's Dictionary for racism. For racism. Yeah. So, so like, what? you know. But, what, but Ian, there'll be the comment that you've seen before. Black people can't be racist. Spanish people can't be racist. Only white people can be racist. We've seen that comment how many times? <laughs> you know, you, you want to know why people say that? It's because they, they look at like the... We'll probably see it on this video too. They, it's. I think it's when people when people think of racism, they automatically equate it to like, um, the pipe like the power dynamic and like the financial dynamic like of, of slavery yeah. segregation. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But it's like you do realize there's racist poor white people. Yeah. And then like who who say derogatory things mm -hmm. to poor black people like. They don't have any financial power. Yep. They're still racist pieces of shit. Yep. <laughs> like, you don't have to be white 
to be a racist piece of shit. No, no, man. No, no. no Every you don't. color, race, doesn't matter what you are, you can be a racist piece of shit. Bro, first, and I don't freaking understand it. There, like, there are some Hispanic people who are racist as shit to black people. For no, it's like you both. There's Mexicans that get don't get along with Puerto Ricans. Like I don't get it. You're all his, well, Guatemalans and we Sumerians all got each other. It's we all got that thick in us. Puerto Ricans that don't get along with Dominicans. Yeah, yeah, I don't. Yeah, bro. And then there's Haitians who don't like blacks. I don't get it. Mm-hmm. And then there's like I, I, you know, I, I don't get it. I. We all just divide each other for no freaking reason. Mm-hmm. Well, you're the- no, no, no. They do it for a reason. Well, they want to keep us pitted against yeah. each other. Yeah, easier control. E- e- true, if, true. If there was no, if there was harmony, peace, and love in the streets, and everybody was getting along, utopia. Do you think they would be getting away with half the shit they're getting away yeah, with yeah, in this government? That, right now? It's a, a very, a very race. Uh, true. Gets when you together. Ish, yeah. You know, yeah. You know, when you keep everybody focused on each if, other. Listen, they can't see what they're doing. If we got us exactly. all working together, it's like Mike Tyson throwing haymakers. Because guess you what? You don't want that. If, everybody's look, if everyone's looking together, where's everybody looking at? What's the government doing to us? Yeah. Uh-huh. Yeah. Because <laughs> we, 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 we will take them down. Yeah. All you got to do is go vote. Yeah, you would get. You would just get everybody. Would, all, this, all the bullshit all, all people would get out voting. Going, all the stuff Instantly. that's going on right now. People would be focusing on it. would not on. be happening. If all of us unite, yeah, yeah people just be getting voted out. And, because and right now it's verse versus ver- you know, Ooh. like just like we're supposed the, to the, be together. The real, the real, the real thing is rich versus poor. That's what the real thing is, I think, at least. Yes, but it's make it's made up. Because without somebody being able to provide the job, you ain't going to work unless you're going to open a business yourself. See, no, no. That's this, right this topic, Which that, people forget. That, that topic right there, we should leave it for. I know, that's another video. Oh, okay, yeah, But that right. film that we're supposed to watch, because yeah. that's, that's. That's. Oh, okay, yeah. okay. People in charge telling me that I'm a racist and I'm privileged and pointing out our irreversible differences. I've never noticed race more. And it's becoming the first thing I notice when I meet someone, which has never before been the case. RHS administration confidently told me that RHS students and staff are happy with their equity statement. But from the ex- my experience in talking with other students, this is not the case. I know many kids who disagree with their teachers, but they're too scared to stand up because they're worried that their grades will be docked and their learning experience will be affected. Which is a problem. Okay, Which first is a of problem. all, any yeah. teacher who doxes a kid because they had, they, they had a thought, fuck you. Yeah. No, you should not be teaching anyone. Any, any teacher who grades based off of their beliefs? You're, that's bullshit, no. Any good teacher would always advocate and empower a student to stand up for what they believe in and to mm-hmm. and to um express themselves. Even if it goes against their beliefs. Yeah, like no, that's bull. That's bull. That's bull. Mm-hmm. If you're intentionally docking grades from a student because they have a different opinion than you, no, you can't. You can't. No. Wait. Let him continue. In that, 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 that's well, listen to him continue. Wait for him to continue. My honors government teacher, I'm not going to say his name, but he's mentioned that Democrats care more about all people while Republicans only care about themselves. He's probably black. He's probably black. And he's also inferred to us that socialism is better than democracy. He even had a (laughs) statue. He had a statue of a socialist leader in his classroom. Um, I have been I've been told by a lot of kids that they just stay silent and adjust their schoolwork to reflect an acceptable opinion to secure. Dude, I been, missed that part with the statue. Bro, I was like, what? Bro, there's been racist. That's crazy. First of all, there's been racist Democrats. Mm-hmm. I am. <laughs> there's in both um, sides. In both oh, sides. yeah. Oh, the, 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 there's, know, there's fucked up people on both sides. Talking about parties. racist Democrats, what about what just happened to Martha's Vineyard? How quickly did they get those migrants off that island? Bro. How quickly did they say, oh, we're getting these out of here. Can't have these people here. Dude, there's... there's no, but, you, but that's that's, but that's, 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 that, that's them being hypocrite because uh, they wanted them to come over here, and now they want to kick him somewhere else. Oh God! But you wanted them here. Eh. You're a good grade. I've been approached by multiple teachers who have told me in private that they just want to say that they agree with they were there. They support me standing hours. up, but they can't yeah. say it in front of the class for. Wait, was that again? They were on Martha's Vineyard for, for 44, 44 hours. hours, and then they just you know the sanctuary area. Yeah. 44 hours they were there. And where did they send them after that? Cape Cod, to a military base. Yeah. Called in the military. Get them off my island. 
Exactly. You know. Like, get him out of this sanctuary. So. Yeah, <laughs> Fear of being disciplined by the administration in some way or losing their jobs. There is clearly only one way to think in this district, and that is that they are teaching their kids to shut up if they don't agree. Now, members of the board, I want you to take See, a good look at yourselves in the mirror tonight. You should never be shutting up just because you don't disagree. What happened to the discourse? Being able to rationally and calmly talk through your points. That is disappearing because instantly people are getting to anger if they don't instantly have the same ideology. The fact that kids are, and teachers are too afraid to stand up and express them, their own beliefs, natural beliefs, whether they believe in God or what they talk about or if they just want to teach math. Just like what happened to that 18-year-old. Ah, uh, what happened in North Dakota? Did you see what happened in North Dakota? No, what's wrong in North Dakota? A 41-year-old guy ran down an 18-year-old kid with his SUV because he was a Republican. Murdered a kid and was out on bail the next day after admitting to what he did. Yeah. I, I cried because is this is what's going to be now? Two weeks after... Because uh, you, you wanted to give your opinion on something and... Uh, of what you believe in? The problem is we tr no. The problem is the people that we put in positions of authority. We we treat their shit like the Holy Bible. Well, the the, the head of this country right now called half this country extremists. We lived so long with the Constitution, and then two weeks later, and they want to take that away now. America was made from the Constitution. Yeah. The amendments. Why all of a sudden, like all, all these years? I don't think the necessarily. The, no, I don't think you know? necessarily the problem. The problem isn't the Constitution. No, the no, no. problem is people want to pick and choose who the Constitution should apply to. That's the problem. The Constitution should apply to everybody. Yeah, Not it's it's written. Is it? It's in the Constitution. The Declaration: All men are created equal. Exactly. It should have been that way from the fucking jump of the country. Yeah. And, and that's what even Martin Luther King said. All we ask is that you mean in real life what you wrote on paper. But that's as, all of, as, of, as yeah. of today, right now, we all are. Like, it's misconstrued that we're not. Everybody, well, technically, the only, un, the only thing that makes us not equal right now is when a minority gets into a college or gets a position at a job and they have to think to themselves, did I get this because of my skin color or because of my qualifications? That is the only thing that makes us unequal in this country. Is when someone has to be like, did I earn this? I can understand that. When someone has that, even that question of a thought in their head that, did I really earn this? Or was this just given to me so I can fill a quota? People, man. That is a terrible feeling that nobody should ever have. Exactly. Whether they got a job or they, if they got their dream job or they got into the school that they've been dreaming to get into. They should never be thinking to themselves, did I really earn this, or am I just filling a number? Yeah. I just know if I ever find, like, when I when I have a family in the future, I, <laughs> bro, if I ever find out my kids say some phrase, oh, ooh, ooh, mm. ooh. And ask, are you really standing up for the equality of all people? Or are you just pushing a damaging political ideology um, on, on our students? A fellow coworker at my job, who by the way is of color, discreetly told me that the schools seem to be pushing a very leftist agenda in class. This proved that not everyone is happy with your school, and not everyone who isn't happy is white. There you go, boy. Now, due to all these instances I've mentioned and many oh, more damn, that I can't fit notes. in this five minute speech, <laughs> oh, yeah, I've decided to leave this district all, and continue school on a private. Christian school online. He's, he's leaving. He's going to homeschool online. I mean, that's your choice, yeah. I, I can see why you want to do that. You, you, your school well, fucked up, so they drove you out. <laughs> no, they're not driving him out. He's leaving because he actually wants to be taught and learn. Not no, no, what, I'm, what I mean by driving them out is they kind of just, like, completely disregarded him. He, they gave him no choice. So, yeah, they gave him, so they just, yeah. And honestly, this is might be the best route for most people's kids if you actually want to teach your kids to actually learn about the world and not somebody else's view of the world.
You, you see what I mean? Well, if you could just teach people the freaking truth of what happened. Exactly. Tell them the truth, not your skewed view of the truth. Like, just teach them what freaking happened. Tell them the truth, not your truth. Yeah. You see what I mean? Tell them, the, like, tell them what happened. Like. Well, I'm happy. I saw the other thing, like, one, one day, I saw, like, in some people, like, oh, we're going to teach kids um that the Holocaust is bad. We need to teach them how it was also good. What was fucking good about the Holocaust? What was good about the Holocaust? There's nothing good what was good? There was nothing good about it. Millions of people got killed because they were Jewish. What is, what is positive about that? There's, there's, there's nothing positive about the Holocaust. Homosexual, uh, disabled, yeah. all the, all that had a uh, deep, you know, defects. It's like it, like it, what like they only wanted their kind. If you if you it. if you want like pretty much in the Holocaust, if you weren't like white and Christian or like you just got killed. Mm -hmm. Yeah. If you didn't agree with Nazi ideology, yeah, you, you just, got killed. You got killed. Like, and what's I, positive and about I, that? And, and I know he left because, let's just say if he had a question or something that he did not understand yeah. uh, the, what the teacher was showing or whatever. Nobody was going to answer. She, she or he wasn't going to go and take their time to explain. They'd be like, oh. You're going to figure this out, your wife. Yeah. Or, or, <laughs> or <laughs> You're going to figure it out, your wife. <laughs> That's how these teachers are treating most of these kids in school, man. It's or, insane. Or if he comes up with the answer, right, and it's the wrong answer, and then he or she will say, oh, yeah, that's fine. That's the answer. But it's the wrong answer. That's that's your answer. You know, that's, you know what I'm saying? The, the, are you okay? <laughs> he, I They're figuring out their white there. <laughs> yep. 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 <laughs> yeah, yeah. That's like that's like the people say. Oh, he's Asian. He, he'll he'll, yep. he'll get the equation correct. Yeah, yeah. Like what kind of shit is that? Exactly. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> like, oh my! It's insane. You know, that, it's insane. You know, that, just, that got the funny bone because it just came from just that was the, that Tyson haymaker. You don't know when it's coming. It is. Oh my god. I'm good at him. <laughs> pay for your school. And there will be sacrifices, and I will not get to walk in the graduation ceremony or attend milestones at RHS. Smart but kid. I will be able to learn an environment that is not intent on punishing me daily for my skin color and political views. Oh, now, regardless how you take my speech, whether you just shrug it off as malarkey or Fox News talking points, I encourage you to think <laughs> about it. Because someday I'm going to be a leader. I may be the president, a governor, or just a professional golfer. Yes. But I will never stop believing that everybody has value, no matter their skin color or personal beliefs. Mm. And it's a shame that you're not going to be able to say that I was an alumni of RHS in District 196. That, that was an awesome Yo, that's that yeah. mic drop. Yeah. <laughs> it's a shame that's you won't be able to say I was an alumni yeah. of your school. That's that mic drop. That's, that's, that's what you represent. Mic drop. I love this boy's confidence. Somebody get me this boy's name. and add. That's rare for a kid that age yep. to have that much damn confidence. Yep. That You don't see that every day. Yeah, he's going to be a, he, he was a freshman in high so school. Proud, like, that's like... Bro, that's like a, a grown man in a, in a, in a young... That, that's an old soul right there. Yeah, that is. That's that's what that is. I want to help He's been here before. School. That kid's going to be a leader. So We've been, been here before. For his private school Don't you education. feel the joyful when yeah. I said that? Like, when I see, you, you know we're going to see we're gonna see this kid on a national stage one day giving a speech in some state. Yeah. Running to be a governor of something. I, I, that, that, that's, that is a future leader. Yeah. I'm, I'm, you know what? Someone who wants to treat everybody equally. I'm just congratulating my man's confidence. At what he looks like, he's probably like 14, 15, 16. Exactly. Like, damn. That's the confidence of someone who's gonna beat. Yeah. Somebody. yeah. Nobody's gonna hold a kid like that back. Shit. And it's not because he's white. No, adults fear children like that. Yeah. <laughs> so, it has nothing to do with his skin. Yeah. No, adults fear fear. It's kids what he like has that. in here. Yeah. On to something. You know his parents are doing what's right. That boy said, I'm going to be somebody one day. I'm going to be the president or a professional golfer. Either way it go, y'all going to feel bad that I'm not an alumni of this school. God, I love this kid. I love this kid. I want my son one day to grow up and be just like this kid and be bold and tell the doggone truth. Mm -hmm. And it's a shame. It is a, it is a shame that we have these things like this going on in our school system. It is a shame. It is. I understand that you want to uplift people, but you don't uplift people by tearing other people down. I right agree with that. Right there. I agree with 100%. that. 100%. I agree with that. You don't uplift anybody by tearing somebody else down. That's not how you love. No, I agree anybody. with that. You That's that bullshit. By unity. You uplift 
everybody no, I agree. I with 100%. unity with other races all together. Yeah, I hundred percent agree with that. It's the best feeling on earth. Yeah. When yep. Everybody just gets along in the same level. Yeah. That's not how you do this. You don't uplift the inner city kids by tearing down white kids. Nope. You lift everybody up and everybody will exactly. rise together. Yeah. That's how you uplift people. That's how you make a difference. That's how you do things better. You don't need to be making, <coughs> making uh, these young people out to be victims. I'm not a victim. I don't teach my son to be a victim. No, you are a victor. You are victorious than Jesus Christ. You have what we call Christ privilege, my man. You work hard. You uh, apply yourself. And we'll see where we go from there. If you sitting on the sideline, you complaining, you ain't put in the work, you ain't put the effort in, you don't have no faith, you don't believe in yourself, don't, don't tell me about what somebody else is doing. I'll listen to you complain if you number, you're the first kid in the class, you study harder than every other kid in the class, you putting together the best effort that you could possibly put together, which is outdoing everybody. And they still don't give you opportunity? Come talk to me and we'll, we'll see of a better way and a strategy. Exactly. But don't give me that. that, that that's that's what I'm saying. That, that. I understand. That. If you're doing everything that you possibly can and you're still not getting a shot now, we'll see if we can figure out another way to attack this because you've done this. I'll, we'll see if we can do this. No, I agree. You're just, sitting there. On that. It reminds me of the, what, the Ill Mind of Hobson song. Uh, oh, excuse me. Where everyone's sitting around, they want to be rich, but you ain't do nothing. You know what I'm talking about? Yeah. You remember, you remember oh, Hobson's that, song? That's speaking of like, yeah. Um, that's what I'll, I'll, I'll say that for the live or something, yeah. but. But, but, but I see what you mean. I, 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 I see you what gotta you put mean. the work in before you can even complain about not getting an opportunity or something. Mm. You you gotta try and fail before you can just say you failed. If you didn't even attempt, mm. how did you fail? For, yeah, no, oh, yeah, for, yeah. How can you fail before you attempt anything? To me, I to me like don't get me wrong. Like when I was younger, I used to believe that like failure meant like you failed, you're done, you can't go any further. No, you just found a way but, it didn't work. Yeah, that's honestly like failure doesn't mean you're you're nothing. Ways. It's just you're finding one way. All right, that shit didn't yeah. work. I got to do something yeah. else now. Yeah, you find different ways. Yeah. Failure's the best teacher. But I've also learned I've also learned that the biggest lessons in life are going to hit you the hardest. Like the most important yes. lessons, you, they're going to hurt. But they it, stick with you the longer. But forever. they're not like people say. Why can't life be easy? It's not supposed to be. Nah. If nah. it was easy, no one would learn shit. Exactly. You would. What would? What, what, what well, if, if life was easy, there would be no ever reason to progress. Yeah. There'd be no ever reason to get better or the, improve anything. Like the word overcome would not exist. Exactly. Like the word struggle would not exist. Yeah, like you can't. Like yeah. The word accomplishment would, would not, not exist. That's what I'm saying. That's the whole reason saying. to have goals. Does it suck when some shit is hard? A hundred percent. <laughs> but even when something is really, really hard, when you finally get it, get, oh, it feels so good. When you get over that mountain, hallelujah! You, you get to plant that flag. <laughs> yes, I did it. Bull crap! That all oh, them white man, all these people discriminated against me. I don't know. <laughs> yeah. But I'm telling you right now, and I'm glad this young man stood up and said something. I hope this goes viral because there is an attack on young white kids in this country. These people act like white people grew up and they, they grew up with a debit card in their hand. <laughs> yeah. like, like, like white people don't have to go That's to work. Right. Forgot about that. They don't yeah. have to study for tests. And somehow they just put I'm white on the top of it and they get an automatic test score. <laughs> like they, they don't have trauma. They don't they don't get they, they don't get abused. They don't come from broken families. I don't know what I guess white people don't have the struggles. That's yeah. the only way you can claim. Yeah, that you don't know the answer. Business. You don't get to write I'm white. That, I, I, I never got to do that. If I didn't know the answer to the test, I didn't get there right. Fuck it, I'm white. I get the red. <laughs> right? Vito, you'll figure it out. You're white. <laughs> <laughs> you'll figure it out, my man. <laughs> no, but I'm saying, like, it's not like... <laughs> like, you don't just write, I'm white, I'm top of the paper. Oh, 100. Like, you don't do he's, he's good. You don't do that, he's man. Good. You can't. Things that I'm saying is true. But that's not true. White people, just like black people, just like Asian people, just like Native people, just like uh, Mexican people, just like uh, Europeans, whatever you want to say, Africans, just like all these people that come to America. I will say this, when it comes to school, I remember I had one class um, when I was doing my undergraduate to get psych in, in psychology. And um, it was about a class, about like 20, 25 people in there. Mm -hmm. And we had a textbook. Our, prof our professor was, would stand up, you know, teach everybody, give us the homework, grade everything, yada, yada, yada. And 
I remember there was one class where she said, I want everyone to look at this sentence in the, in the textbook. When it was talking about, like, um, poverty within the country mm -hmm. and the statistics of who's more, um, um, who is more um, poor. Mm -hmm. Statistically speaking, there are more white people in poverty than black people and Hispanic people because there's more white people in the country. Yeah. Like, j just number-wise. Mm -hmm. But then there's the stereotype, oh, black people, all the, most, most uh, 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 black people make up for all the people in poverty. Which is not no, true. Not true at all. That's, that's just numerically false. No. So then we had to write an essay about it and explaining, like, poverty in America. And our teacher was pissed because she graded all essays and all, I would say, the not all of them, but the majority of the white kids in the class mm -hmm. all had in their paper that poverty is an issue in America. And it's unfortunate that um, majority of it affects black people who live in financial struggle. Which is wrong. And, it's wrong. My, and the teacher, she's white, she goes, please explain to me why you said this when, I, when the textbook... And I both taught you that it's false. Yep. No one could. The whole the whole freaking class was like quiet. You you would you if you if a pin dropped you would have freaking heard it. Yep. Because she's like if 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 I'm teaching if in the book even the textbook is teaching you that what you just said is incorrect. Why are you putting it in your essay? You know you you, you know why Ian. Because there's such a cult mentality right now that even when people read something in a book yeah. that's clear as day is a fact, they're going to be like, nah, my thought's more important. Exactly. Both the professor and the textbook are saying, you are literally incorrect. And honestly, the like, sad part is, those were all racist statements that they put like that. Yeah. By sitting there, after you read the book, the teacher's telling you to do that. They didn't think they're being that though. They thought they're being sympathetic. Yeah, they, yeah, yeah. They thought they, they don't were... even realize how racist they're being. Yeah, the, it was just, and I don't think they intentionally were trying to be prejudiced. No, no, it's they were. Like they think they're didn't... being sympathetic. Yeah, you, they because... didn't realize what they were doing. It's because of what they're seeing on their surroundings. Yeah, exactly. They're seeing in movies. They're seeing yep. in, the, in the in the media. Yeah. You know. Even in music, a lot of music's okay. portrayed of it's mostly black people being in poverty. Yeah, yeah. It's wrong. It, yeah. It's, it's 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 crazy. There's there's black people who live in the middle class, and there's rich black people. There's poor people, poor, poor white people, poor middle class. You, I mean, poor poor white middle class. Jesus. Yeah. There are more and then white a, people on welfare in this country than black people. It's just a, it's statistical, a statistical fact. Statistical fact. Because <laughs> there's more white people in the country. <laughs> but the sad part of it is a lot of it's because the, all the media wants to show is the ghettos. Yes. They yeah. don't ever want to show. They don't ever really show trailer parks. And white people live in the ghettos too. The ghetto is just yes. the, is the inner city. Yes. Most of the time, the trailer parks are outside the inner city. That's that's why yes. I'm saying the difference. I'm not saying ghetto because that's where black you, people go. You go no. to the inner city, you'll find black, Hispanic, mm -hmm. white, Asian, yep. everybody. You go into the ghetto, you will find everybody, everybody. <laughs> from all the way from Asian, white, you will, blacks, it every, don't matter. And you what you know what the funny thing? The the majority of them, they're all freaking cool with each other. Exactly. They all realize, oh, we all struggling. Shit. Yep. What's the point of hating on somebody else? We all trying to get somewhere. The only time they really hating on each other is when you start taking up other colors. Yeah, yeah, That's yeah. the only time like, violence really starts. Is when other colors start not races. I'm talking about gang colors. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I, said, no, I, he said, know, he I understand. I understand. It's just but you're being like he's there. He goes. He's he's yeah, saying yeah, colors. Like, like, which you, which, like it's not <laughs> difficult to understand the shit. <laughs> Oh my goodness. We got we got we got one thing in common. We have 24 hours a day to do the best that we can. We got we got one thing in common. We have one thing in common. God has given us cards to play. And you everybody don't have the same cards. But if you, you I will say this, some people are dealt with fucked up hands in life. Oh, let him continue. No, I agree. He, he oh, okay. Let him go. Hand. What you think is a bad hand. If you play your cards better than the man in front of you, you still win the game. You still win the game. That, that's fair. The beauty is that God has given us five cards. We got the same amount of cards. Just play your cards right. Some people have a whole deck of winning cards. 
and they throw the game. Yeah, that's true. Yep. Yeah, they throw they the game. Exactly. exactly. That's why I wanted you to let it play. Because it don't matter. Some people have the worst hand dealt to them in the world. Some have the best hand dealt to them in the world. It'd be funny when, like, you got somebody who's, like, rich and they make a bad investment and then they go mm-hmm. broke and then they complain to everybody. Well, if this didn't... No, dude, you just made a bad damn investment. See, you sp- you wasted your own money. One of the best things is... One of the best people I lo- always look to, one of the most important people in our history was a black man, George Washington Carver. Oh, yeah. yeah. He yeah. came... He, I think he was the... I think he was a slave at one point. Or he was the son of a slave. I can't remember the complete story. It's been so long, but I know that we wouldn't have a lot of the stuff. I know so many things that came from just a yeah. peanut alone that he's oh, known yeah. for. Oh, yeah. No one that you sound familiar, yeah. George Washington right. Carver is one of the... If, and he was from poor of poor. Yeah. Dirt poor. I I still say till this day, if Martin Luther King never was assassinated, he would have been the first black president of America. Yeah, he would have been. Oh, my God. I guarantee it. He that's why he was killed. Yeah. He would, he would have been the first black yeah. president of, of the United States. Yep. If, if he was never assassinated, he would have won. Which, uh, there was probably a certain three-letter alphabetical government agency that probably was the reason he is gone. Like, that's, that's another conspiracy theory topic for another yeah. day. You, start, you even mentioned something like that on this platform. Oh, boy. Oh. One of these times we should just have a conspiracy series. Just, that would be great. You know, just to I, just, I just remember the day when conspiracy theories so were theories. fun. You talked about it for 10 minutes. Everyone was like, all right, that shit yeah, ain't real. Yeah. <laughs> and, 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 <laughs> and, 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 you could about it yeah. if you didn't yeah. get your video banned on yeah, YouTube. Yeah, it was, just, it was like, oh, we're, yeah. we're talking about bullshit. Yeah, we're just bullshit. <laughs> We didn't clearly we didn't bullshit. quote anybody. We didn't give no fat. We're just like, what if this was happening? Yeah. You said the word theory. Like, so that's yeah, just... theory doesn't mean it's factual. Theory just means you're hypo- it's a hype like a hypothetical. Like if this Like what it makes sense. If you do this, it's possible what, what, this can happen. Exactly. Which goes back to how you yeah. play your cards. Yeah. Back to how you play those yeah. cards you dealt. They have integrity. They throw the game with all of those good cards in their hands. Some people have nothing but perceivably low value cards that were dealt to them at, at when they were when they begin life. Mama was on crack. Daddy wasn't there. You got molested when you were young. You got a hand of some bad cards. But you know what? God can give you a a a, a the knowledge and wisdom to play these cards. In a way in which is co- are conducive for you to still win, you can still win with these cards, brother. Okay, I, I, I'm preaching right now. Y'all better, y'all got my suit on. And right now. Y'all better go get the offering plate. Y'all want to get one plate. Really want to be a blessing. Maybe you can get one. I love this dude, man. Oh God, I love hey, maybe his parents are. Tatum's all. I love his video. But I would love to give him a get the offer and play. Send him some officer Tatum merch or something. Because I, I just, the young, we got to rally our young people. Yeah. When they stand up for truth, we have to rally around them. We have the, to support yeah, them. We you have know, to build them. What up. pisses me off is when you have older individuals who think just because someone's younger than them that they're dumb. Exactly. That, no. no that kid's probably 14, 15, probably smarter than most of the people he's in the room with. Yeah. 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 Just because someone is a, sure. of a younger age than you does not mean they're dumb. No. Do, no. But they, they just they, there's a lot of people who think they're smart and they're dumb. Yeah, that's true. They're dumb. I know, yeah. one, sure I know one is, person. Uh, become what he said he wanted to become. <laughs> he wanted to be the president one day, professional. <laughs> we, we should we should rally around him. It's just like this, like these liberals do to these victims. Somebody, uh, uh, somebody looked at me sideways in the store, and I'm black and they white. Oh my God, go fund me, fourteen million dollar, go fund me. Jesus, now we should rally around Jeez. these conservative young people. That's a big ask, you know. Tremendous, <laughs> tremendous. No, diversity. he's giving an example of. I know, I know, I know. I'm just, oh, they're being racist. I need. I'm being a victim. Somehow, come let up. me get. A, let me get a quick million. <laughs> I've been to these colleges and universities, and I've been to these high schools. <laughs> I haven't been to a lot. I wish I could go to more. But I've been to these schools, and I hear these young people talking and, and, and saying like, it's just as bad as in college. They have to fluff. You know, test and stuff, and try to write what the teacher wants them to write. That's insane. They, they get forced. You know, it's getting forced down their throat uh, of, of See, propaganda. When you have to force your way oh, of answering me. something to somebody else's viewpoint, yeah. that's wrong. Yeah. That is completely wrong. And if you don't do it, you know you're not going to get a good enough grade to get. That is wrong. 
especially when it's supposed to, in classes where you're supposed to be putting essays, where it's supposed to be your thought. Yeah. <laughs> not based off of your professor's view. Or well, when you get mad at, for a 16-year-old, oh, well, the 16-year-old's wrong. Okay, they're 16. Yeah. It's not like they have a lot of life experience. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> I'm finding out who this kid is. I'm going to have him on my show or something. I, I got to bless this kid. Anyway, y'all like and subscribe to the channel. Go get the Manscaped stuff. Link in, is in the description section. I love the products. I use them every single day. But I said, let's make a deal because if I'm going to pitch y'all to millions of people, you know, we got to do something in the middle there. But, you know, I love the products. And, and to be honest, it ain't about no money. It ain't about none of that. It's about the, that, the, that I love the product and the fact that me and my wife been using this stuff for years. Had, never had a problem. Still got, the, still got the buzzer. Now I got the new one. But anyway, I'll see y'all on the next one. I'm out. Go. See, I like how we break it down. Yeah, yeah. No, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. 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 We'll see how long this lasts hey, upon our hey. channel, but who the fuck knows? Eminem. That's probably going to shout out, man. Eminem. Where that Eminem came from? Where did he come from? Bro. Come on. Detroit. Em ain't white. He light skinned, dude. How many times we got to shoot? The point is how poor he was. He yeah, look how poor yeah, Em was. The, look where exactly. he came from. Bro, he, he worked, was poor. He worked And he didn't like either, there. at the time, didn't like either his mama or his daddy. And look where he ended up. Mm -hmm. Dad walked out on him. Yeah. He cool. I, I suppose that he cool with his mama now, though. But. Yeah, well, look how long it took. Took, exactly. It took his mom had to get clean. Yeah. I know she had Munchausen. He realized she had Munchausen's. It was a whole big thing with his mom. You know Munchausen's is, right? That's when you like... What's that? When you think you're sick and you... For attention. You oh, yes, oh, yes, okay, yes, okay, yes, yeah, 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 okay. And then there's Munchausen's by proxy when you get other people yeah, sick. Yeah, 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 yeah. To always get the attention. A lot of people have uh, killed their kids that way. Yep. But damn. Mental illness is a terrible thing, yeah. This is, I meant to listen to this, so Vito, thank you. Thank you for. Uh, I figured we might as well turn to the video. Yeah, 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 Went a little yeah. bit longer than we yeah. wanted it to be, but so, uh, sometimes. Well, um, yeah. see, this is just proof. We're not afraid to talk yeah, about yeah, topics. Yeah, 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 yeah. YouTube just doesn't like us talking about topics. Like I said, we'll see how long this lasts up on the channel. Mm -hmm. um, if it's not there, you can find it over there. Mm -hmm. Next door neighbor, you know, Rumble. Um, <laughs> I'm just I'm interested to see how many people are going to call me racist in this one. <sighs> it happens every time. You're white, you'll figure it out. I know. <laughs> <laughs> you'll figure it out, you know. <laughs> but, uh, guys, hope you enjoyed some good conversation. Like, comment, subscribe, blow us up. Y'all know what to do. Thanks for stopping and spending some time with us. Hit that notification bell and give us a share because it does help the channel out. Please and thank you. See you guys in the next one. Later, y'all. Later.